Put your serious eyes on. I see you, you see me. We're ready. ready. Fix this hat. Perfect. Are you ready? I'm ready. What is up guys? Philip here with Satisfy. And as you can see, there is a lot of accessories here right in front of you right now. And the whole purpose of this video is to see how much we can put into our Elite case. Let's dive in. All right, you guys, so let's dive in and let's see what accessories are gonna fit inside our Elite case and which ones are not. This table's a mess, let's clear that off. Goodbye. So, let's begin. Elite case here, check. Oh, let's grab our switch here that I threw off that I shouldn't have. And let's start with a, oh, okay, here we go. Perfect. Let's go with the controllers. We get asked this all the time. To me, it's a little obvious, but just for the sake of doing it, we're gonna do it. That shouldn't be in there, that shouldn't be in there. Okay, here we go. Switch in. Pro controller, does it fit? Uh, the answer is no. Goodbye. Next up, a much requested item, the uh, something or other GameCube controller made by someone and something. And again, the answer is a no. This one is rejected. The Satisfy Joy-Con rails. Probably the simplest, silliest, and coolest invention I've ever made. Super easy. This comes with every Elite bundle, by the way. So, sliding your Joy-Cons. You are definitely not meant to play this way. I mean, you can if you want to, if you're crazy like that, but I don't recommend it. This is simply for organizing your, keeping your Joy-Cons just organized, especially when you're traveling on the go. They're loose, they're falling around in here. It makes it a lot easier. So, one pair of Joy-Cons. Boom, 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 boom. Plethora of mini grips. Let's see. How many Joy Cons can we fit in an Elite case? One pair. Two pairs. Uh, probably three pairs. And we're out of rails. Uh, do we have any rails? We need a rail. Cat! 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 We need rails! Give me a rail. I need rails. Thank you, Catherine. Our lovely assistant cat. Here is the Joy-Con rail. All right. And three Joy-Con pairs. And just for fun, let's throw this Hori one in here because it does fit. And voila. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Joy-Cons, three of which are in a rail. Does it fit? I think, yes, it fits. It's quite nice. All right, so that's the Joy-Con rails. Speaking of controllers, this uh, got asked a lot. The 8-bit do or do, I like to call it the 8-bit do, but it's probably not right. Um, yeah, let's see if this fits in here because this is actually a pretty cool controller, I must say. And with the SNES out now, I think that's pretty cool. And wow, what do you know? It fits perfectly. So this one gets a uh, stamp of approval. Yay! The 8 bit do. No 8 bit do. All right, good for you. Good for you, 8 bit do. 8 bit do, whatever you are. Do. You're cool because you fit in my products. Ooh, next on the list. All right. Let's talk about power. What do we got here? Too much clutter, too much clutter. Let's clean up this mess here. Uh, okay, uh, the floor is hungry. Uh, I kind of like this, I'm not gonna be gentle with that. Thank you. All right, we have uh, the Nintendo official AC adapter. We have an Amazon Basics slim AC adapter, which by the way, I mean, I wouldn't use this one for your dock, but for charging the switch, 100%. 
And look at that, that is a huge difference. So this is probably gonna be my new go-to AC adapter when I'm traveling. Here we have uh, the new Genki product. Uh, this is their dock shell. This is just the shell, that's all I could get from them. Uh, but this lets you know the size of what their uh, new dock and charger will look like. So let's see if that fits in the case. And then we have Nintendo's official uh, power stand thing. It's kind of cool. Let's see. All right, so starting with uh, the Genki, the, the Genki dock, uh, yes, it 100% fits. Cool. Now, I will say with these thicker items, you're definitely gonna wanna try to slide them over on this side here where you've got a little bit more room and no play. Uh, here's the Nintendo official AC adapter. We're gonna do the same thing with this. I'm gonna squeeze this over on the, what is this, your uh, right hand side here. Now let's see if we can get that going. Bam, official AC adapter. Eh. Eh. I mean, it fits. It's not an ideal fit, but it does work. If you really want to make it work, you can make it work. So yes, uh, one thing I don't have here is I don't have the um, uh, the dock replacement. You can buy one of those shells online. I think Bass Top makes them on Amazon. Uh, I forgot it at home and we just had to film this video, so oh well. But it does fit in here and it fits nicely. So here's the Amazon Basics AC charger. I would highly recommend this one over uh, the official Nintendo one, because if you're not docking, who cares? Let's throw this in. Here we go. Charger. We got the power stand in here. Yes, oh, that fits like a dream. Perfect. No bulging. No clicking. It's great. Love it. Here's what's cool. Okay. Let's walk over all that stuff. Hmm. Battery, that's what I'm looking for. It's in here. Super. Battery, cable, cable. Uh-huh, good, super. All right, so uh, Genki makes a Bluetooth adapter that is awesome. I highly recommend their Bluetooth adapter as I personally think it's actually better than this one. The only thing that this one has going for it is it's just a perfect fit with our grip um, that I have to include in the video. Is the quality as good as the Genki? No, but You'll see for yourself, the fit is pretty phenomenal. All right, so let's take all this paper crap out and here we go. Wah, wah. Hmm? Hmm, ah, oh, here it is. I thought they didn't send it. That'd have been sad. All right, so the cool thing about this, the Genki adapter is a really tight fit. I actually wouldn't recommend the Genki adapter, uh, the Bluetooth adapter in here, just because it's too tight. It's not worth the risk of uh, bending. So here you go. So here is the home spot adapter. I mean, that fits perfect in here. Uh, this also fits really well in the slim case. So this is a great product as far as compatibility goes with our accessories. Now that aside, as you all know, or should know, the Elite case, the whole point of the Elite case is actually to charge your, keep your switch charged up. So here we have a Nintendo official battery. That is this bad boy right here. It's the 20,100 milliamp battery. Uh, this one's kind of my favorite. It fits perfect in here. So you just slide it under the ribbon, slide it in. Uh, whether you're A to C or C to C, I actually prefer the C to C because it charges faster. Um, so, and this battery is compatible with the C to C charger. So that's when you have it, you're gonna wanna run your cable through the uh, cable tray down here. I'm just gonna make it a lot nicer and cleaner. That's why we made the cable tray, so it could clean up all that mess. And that is absolutely amazing. So you're always gonna keep your switch topped off. Um, so batteries fit in here, multiple batteries. We are gonna do actually another battery video. Um, tomorrow we'll be shooting that. So we're gonna go through a whole battery compatibility video. So you're gonna see every video, every battery that does fit in the case, every battery that does not fit in the case. Uh, and then maybe we'll even do a giveaway on those batteries. So that's cool. Sucks for the person who gets the battery that doesn't fit in the case, but hey, it's a free battery. What are you gonna do? Let's do some real world stuff here. So, uh oh, ooh, ooh, drop the lav. That's not good. No bueno, Philip. There we go. All's better in the world. How would you roll with your Elite case? This is typically how I would. Uh, so I'm just gonna load this thing down pretty much how I, when I travel, which I travel a ton, 
having to go back to China a lot, um, really all over the place. All right, battery bank in, charging with a USB-C to C cable, switch, and the ZenGrip Pro. Awesome, everything's great. Let's take, uh, yeah, sure, we're gonna take this on the go, because why not? Let's get this junk out of the way. Okay, yes, charger, because I wanna keep my switch charged when I'm on the plane out of the outlet rather than my battery. Um, another USB A to C cable, because I don't know, who knows? Joy-Con rail, yes. AirPods, yes. What is this? This is a Hori Play stand. I personally wouldn't use this. Um, I don't like these things, but to each his own. If you like it, cool. I didn't even know how to use this. I'm not even gonna open it up. I'm just gonna put it in. So clearly a Hori isn't gonna fit in here with all this stuff, but yes, of course it's a perfect fit. Here we go. The Hori play stand is right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, it does fit if it's very well. Okay, we're not gonna go into that though. Goodbye, Hori. Put our charger back in. We have a car charger made by YCC Team. YCC Team made this. Thank you, YCC Team, for such a cool car charger. This is on Amazon, had good reviews. Links to all this stuff in here uh, in the description below. So if you guys do wanna go buy any of these things, you know where to go. All right, we've just got a bunch of chargers and stuff in here. So let's close this up. Let's see what fits. Does this fit? The answer is, I think, uh, yes, very well. Okay, and of course you have your shoulder strap. Who can forget your satisfied shoulder strap? So that way, when you're walking around town, you don't gotta lug this whole thing. You just put all the weight on your shoulder. Why not? It looks super cool while you're doing it too. All right, and of course, if you don't want to uh, use the shoulder strap at the time because you're going through the airport, you are going to be putting this back in your bag just throw your shoulder strap in here and voila, you've got your headphones in here, you've got a charger in here, you've got your Bluetooth adapter in here, you've got an extra pair of Joy-Cons in here on the Joy-Con rail, uh, you've got everything in here. You're all set, pretend like our games are in here, just pretend, use your imagination, it's all good. Close it down, zip it up, and you are one super happy dude rocking your Nintendo in some of the highest quality products on the market, everywhere you go. I'm not gonna lie, this thing's pretty heavy though. All right, you guys, so that was everything that fits inside of our Elite case. Now you know what fits, what doesn't fit. We hope this video was helpful for you and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Do not forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. Adios.